On today's podcast, let's talk about taking control of your career. Welcome back, friends. This is your place for cutting edge tools, exercises, best practices, and modern leadership strategies. Because when the world is changing, it's time to bring our leadership styles along for the ride. Whether you're a company leader, a corporate visionary, an entrepreneur, this show gives you new insights into the neuroscience and the language of leadership, plus practical steps and tips to lead your teams in a powerful way. It'll also help you keep your people happy and engaged, all while achieving your biggest goals. I'm your host, Jen Thornton. I'm a talent strategist, a brain-based executive coach, speaker, and the founder of 304 Coaching. Now let's fix leadership. Now, I often say that no one can do your career push-ups for you. And if you're a person who takes full accountability for your career, your skills, what you're learning, and how you lead others, then I know you are among some of the top leaders in the world. Now, of course, it is so much easier said than done. Taking 100% accountability isn't easy. It means you are self-authoring how you feel about your leaders, your peers, your team, your customers, the marketplace, and heck, even the economy. There's so many things we can focus our attention on other than taking 100% accountability for our own career. So where do we start? How do we start taking control Um, and accountability of our own career. Well, today I've got some ideas for you. The first idea I have for you is create your own personal board of advisors. And a few weeks ago, I did a full podcast on just this one thing. And if you missed it, go back, check it out. Because just like companies have board of directors to help guide them, you can assemble a group of mentors, colleagues, industry experts to help guide you in your career journey hey, why don't you just launch a passion project? Choose a project that aligns with your interest and complements your career goals, whether that's writing a book, writing articles, maybe creating a side hustle. Um, All of these types of projects provide you with hands-on experience and opportunities to learn more. And we should all be mastering the art of networking. And today's networking isn't just about attending events and collecting contacts. It's about really cultivating meaningful relationships by offering to help and adding value to other people in your field. Join online forums, participate in some webinars, engage with thought leaders on social media, or join a group that is focused on something you're passionate about. There are endless ways for you to not only network, but really enjoy doing it. Let's take a quick break from the conversation. Does your company need to prepare those upcoming leaders to take the reins? To learn more about our leadership academies and our coaching, and to see if your company is a good fit for our transformation programs, visit 304coaching.com. One of my favorite things to do is experiment with reverse mentoring. Traditionally, mentoring flows from the older, more experienced individual to that younger one. But hey, in today's world, we can flip that script and we can seek out a younger mentor who can introduce us to new technologies, trends, and perspectives. You can also cultivate your own curriculum. Don't limit your learning to formal courses or think you have to go to some kind of leadership camp. Create your own personalized curriculum by combining podcasts, TED Talks, books, articles, and the endless online resources that are out there. Having this eclectic kind of approach can broaden your knowledge and you'll learn a ton from it. Another thing you could do is volunteer for stretch assignments. I know every time my career took a huge leap, it's because I volunteered for a stretch assignment. So take on a challenging project at work that pushes you out of your comfort zone. These experiences can accelerate your growth and build your confidence in handling complex tasks. And additional to technical skills, invest in your soft skills like communication, emotional intelligence, change management, adaptability, the the list is endless. But these skills are often the difference makers in career advancement. 
And never forget to measure and reflect. Track your progress. If you can find a, like, find some KPIs um, to measure your progress and measure how well you're taking 100% control of your career, then do it. Regularly reflect on your journey, celebrate your achievements, and, you know, hey, adjust that strategy as needed. Owning your professional development is an ongoing journey um, and easier at times and not so easy at others, but it is essential for your career success. You have to be in the driver's seat. By incorporating some of the ideas we talked about today, you'll be well on your path to unlocking your potential and achieving those professional goals you set for yourself. Remember, the path to owning your career is dynamic and it's rewarding. So embrace it with enthusiasm, embrace it with determination because your future self will thank you. Thanks for listening to Let's Fix Leadership. By hanging out with me today, you're already on your path. If you're looking to learn more and to see if your company is a good fit for our coaching and leadership education, then hey, visit 304coaching.com. If you got value out of this podcast, share it with a friend. And it would mean the world to me if you would leave a thoughtful review and a rating on iTunes. Thanks again for listening. And I appreciate your work in fixing leadership.